now it's like a big window open. So, you know, yeah. want to continue with the vibe like you got, you know, yeah. you say you pop, you know, cast it like that vibe to pop you in. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and through, through that method, you know, we can kind of tell, you know, current events and, you know, a lot of things that's going on with the, uh, the whole, uh, you know, trial with Takashi, you know, a lot of guys, uh, all over the United States have uh-huh. been affected by that because he named a bunch of people from everywhere. So, you know, he touched a lot of people with his words yeah, and not yeah, as a rapper. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah, uh, what, what, what's, what's, uh, what's some of your knowledge on, um, on the gang culture of New York? Uh, maybe even going back uh, before, or, uh, you know, whatever you were, uh, you were alive for, uh, you ain't got to tell your age or nothing. Uh, but to know, you know, what was going on before, you know, it was really seeing West Coast sets being represented in uh, New York. Mm-hmm. You know, like in what time frame did you see that transitioning from whatever New York, you know, was mm-hmm. at that time, and then now the gang culture, yeah. uh, or more of the. Uh, I mean, it's always been, you know gang and mob and crime mm-hmm. just like any other big city but New York of course yeah, yeah. being one of the just the country's first big well basically the country's first big fucking city yeah yeah, yeah. New York the first time I remember the first time I seen Bloods in New York I think um it was early 2000 mm-hmm. I was um you know I'm with one of my cousins you know what I mean and we out in Far Rockaway Queens and it was these dudes walking across the street, you know, like we 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 had a, we had a red light. He driving, I'm in the passenger seat. Some uh, uh, we talking or whatever, and then you know, as he's talking, I'm looking, and I just see like about maybe six, seven, eight dudes. Yeah, you know, just walking across the street, and they all got red on. So yeah. I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, geez, Christmas, you know, like what's yeah, going yeah, yeah. on, you know, where they like um. You know, youngsters. You know, yeah, they were teenagers. Kinda, yeah, yeah, they were kind of young too. So that's why I'm just thinking. You know, it was, you know, yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Cuzzo was like, "Nah, yo, them niggas is blood," and I was like, "Blood? <laughs> what?" <laughs> you know, I'm tripping because you know what I'm saying I'm like, you know, I we don't have Crips and Bloods in New York. That's, yeah. And like I said, this was like 2001. This was either 2000 or 2001. Yeah. yeah Cause like yeah. I said, I had already left New York and went down south. So it's like in the 90s, I'm in the south, but I'm always, you know, back and forth or whatever. Yeah. But I'm up there and I'm in Queens, and I, that's the first time I seen yeah. Bloods and heard that there was Bloods in New York. Around that time, you had uh, uh, diplomats coming out, and uh, you had uh, see, I was locked up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. You know, so that was like the first time I, uh, or we had really heard, um, you know, uh, or maybe in a long time, blood set represented from a New York artist. You know, right, 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 uh, right. Was around that time too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, it was, it was, you know, that that just that just bugged me out, you know, when I heard that because you know, just growing up in New York, back, you know, like during our era, like you know, like. In the eighties and, and early nineties, we always looked at dudes on the West Coast like niggas are stupid. They out there fighting over colors, they mm-hmm. killing each other over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We yeah. didn't really know, you know what I mean? Of course the conscious ones among us now who began doing the research and looking back into the gang life and gang culture and seeing what it was about, yeah. we understood that the, the Crips and Bloods on the West Coast their predecessors was the Panther yeah. movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The militancy and stuff and the Panthers yeah. and you know we the, the And then those quote unquote what they with the you know with the law enforcement was started calling these groups of guy, uh, you know, black men in their neighborhoods, they would call them gangs, but no, you would ask them, no, we're clubs and they were protecting right, their right, neighborhoods from yeah, outside yeah. threats. Right. Because I mean, you know, Back on the West Coast, back in the 1940s, 1950s, white, little white boys would come in the community and... Right, so they were protecting themselves. Disrespect yeah. your community, desecrate the black community, you know, snatch up a little black girl, might yeah. take off somewhere, rape her. Hell, if they get caught, ain't nothing really going to happen to them, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, so 
we got to protect our community. Yeah. So this is really where the whole black gang thing really started on the West Coast from that type of mentality. Yeah. Take care of your community, not destroy your community. Yeah. So after learning about that, we respected that. On the East Coast, probably the first encounter New York dudes had with blood was really when Pop came out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like around in the 94, 95. With death Row. Right, with Death Row. Because around that time, like, again, in New York, there is no Crips and Bloods. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, if we go back a few uh, decades or so, you know, the father, uh, Brother Clarence 13X, he eradicated all of that mm -hmm. and had every gang member in New York come under one banner, the seven. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, you five percent, five percenters. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But as time went on, you know, brothers just eventually fell victim yeah. to society, which in this case is prison. Yeah. Because like how the Crips and Bloods on the East Coast were starting on the streets in the community, on the East Coast or in New York, it started in the prison, in the jails. Prison gang, yeah. By fake guards running around here masquerading as five percenters. Mm. Stick up kids, basically. One thing about New York, especially Brooklyn niggas, you know, we known for robberies, yeah, yeah. stick ups. You know, I did my first stick up when I was like, what, 16? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, we start them early. <laughs> you know, back in those, in that day, in that era. You know what I'm saying? So those who were able to rise above that negativity and came out of that lifestyle did better for themselves yeah. when they got the knowledge or the information or the knowledge of self. Others who got knowledge of self didn't change. They yeah, stayed yeah. as stick up kids. That was just their mentality. Yep. When you go to jail, yeah. the recidivism rate for five percenters in New York, and whether it be Rikers Island or it be up in the state prisons or yeah. whatever, Attica, Sing Sing, Elmira, Oneida, all of them, yeah. it was more, you know what I'm saying? They're bunched up in a group in the prisons. Yeah. Brothers in the Nation of Islam, when they get the knowledge of self and they hit the streets, a lot of times they didn't come back. Yeah. Some of them probably did here and there, but it was very few. It was more like the Malcolm story. They got the information and they went out and actually did something. Right. You know what I'm saying? To to signify that they really was God. Right. You know what I mean? You know, these other individuals, they got the knowledge and they didn't do anything with it. They just remained as stick up kids. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Um what 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 is your um like you said maybe early two thousand, two thousand one, 2001, um the whole thing with with the uh, New York uh, blood set that you know uh, that they're naming or that you know six nine named on in, in court uh, nine Trey bloods uh, you know um, what's your knowledge on uh, what what have you seen as far as you know that being a part of New York culture or, or you know the guys that were representing that what what was going on during that time and you know. Uh... Like I said, I mean, again, as far as during that era, you know, uh, and, and, and what the nine trays, and after the UBN, the United Blood Nation was formed, and right. this nine tray, and all of this OG stuff. Man, I, man. Yeah, right. I really don't know too much of that history, yeah. you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, about that, but I'm just giving the knowledge of the predecessor. I guess you could say I'm the big homies, big homies, big homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because those individuals that started these blood sets, Grimm and Nine Trey and all of this stuff, you know, you know, again, their history is five percenters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that the five percenters, their predecessor is the Nation of Islam. Just like the Bloods on the West Coast, their predecessors is the Black Panthers. Right. And their predecessors is the Nation of Islam. Seeing how the soldiering of the FOI and the you know the Food right, of Islam, right. they put that into a gang structure on the street, and they tried to clean up the communities. So as far as the history, I can give you the history of you know uh, blood founders and yeah. like their knowledge and where it derived from. It derived from us. You see what I'm saying? You know. But these were always individuals that never really built. They just always remained, I guess you could say, inactive. 
You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's almost like the science in Yaku, mm -hmm. you know, similar. You know, like how he dealt with a dissatisfied proportion right. of, of the population. And he took them off onto an island mm -hmm. of his own, Patmos. And then he began grafting from the original man until he got the weakest form of human being that we see today, which is the Caucasian white man. So, likewise, with the New York City Bloods, same thing. In this area where they're locked up, you know what I'm saying? They began grafting. How do you begin making devil? You begin by grafting from the original or taking from what was originally there. So lessons change, teachings change, discipline is not instituted. So eventually we see this grafting process and now we get the worst form of a god running around, you know. And this is what you mentioned earlier. Cutting uh, people. Rebel, uh, rebel god. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, the rebel gods. The rebel gods are individuals that, that like I'm talking about. I seen something on a, it was a Queen's Flip channel. And, um, you know, uh, he had Killer Kev and some of these other guys on there. And I mean, you know, like these individuals are stick up kids. Yeah, yeah. That's not nothing to be happy about or proud about. I'm sure if you was to ask Killer Kev or any of these individuals, as loony as they may be, yeah. they'll tell you that's not a life that, no, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? They were doing what they had to do at the time. At the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that. You know, but eventually you have to begin to elevate and grow out of that if right. you call yourself a God. Because a God is one who changes, you know, by growing and developing right. over time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, God, I don't know, man. I mean, at the end of the day, just like the United States of America, this nation was founded by gangsters and killers and robbers. Yep. You know, like yep. Moses in the Bible, he left the children of Israel a sign. What are you going to choose? Is it going to be life or is it going to be death? Americans have to choose life or death. Likewise, with the blood nations or the blood sects out there, you got to choose life or death at this point. Because your nation was founded by robbers, stick-up kids, yeah. jailbirds. Whatever you want to call yourself, I don't care at the end of the day, as long as you're acting righteous. You know what I'm saying? This is the reason why we hold the name Muslim dear to us because it signifies one who is trying to live righteous. He may not be all the way there yet, but he's striving to live that right. way. It's and he's not going to go around sticking up people. You see what I'm saying? To start change, you know, you got to start that uh, that process and uh, discipline. And, uh, True you know, just True stop what True is not what, you, uh, uh, what you're trying to be. You know, right, you just right. got to stop right. those things that have become habitual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like on the island, real quick, and when Brothers was locked up, uh, I know you're going to close out in a few minutes or whatever, but uh, I was just going to say, the Brothers out was on the island, uh, and I was watching on Queen's Flip. That was the thought that I was going to bring. I was watching these one, uh, this one Spanish dude. I think he's from the Lietas or the Latin Kings, one of the two. Yeah. But he was just saying that he, point, he pointed out something that was important. He said there was two groups of five percenters. Mm. There was one group that they didn't try to stick us up or get our commentary or, you know, they wasn't trying, they would actually try to build with us and tell us that we were a part of their family, their nation, the original yeah, nation, yeah. And, and, you know, the brown man or what. But then he said there was another group of five percenters that you had to sleep with an eye on them, you know what I'm saying? Because they might try to get you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, bang you out, you know so what I'm saying, poke at, you out or whatever. You at know. the end of the day, it's, um, you know, an organization is a, a group of individuals so whatever the you know united front of those individuals that caused them to group into right. an organization right she it's a bunch of you know stick up kids in this group you know whatever they claiming right right that banner gets that you right. know that heat from the right from right. the actions of the you know the the members yeah True but like mean. you said boom these guys over here really trying to build with us so mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I like I like the points that you were saying, man. You know, uh, growth and um, you just got to start the process. Yeah, yeah. Got to start yeah. the process, no matter where you come from. Sure did, sure did. Man, good building with you, man. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's your boy DJ Risk. 
God day, son of God. Appreciate your knowledge, man. And Peace. Next time. Seven always. Peace.